Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs and another addition to uh, soldering, well, how do you call them, underlays or whatever you put uh, below your uh, things that you are soldering, PCBs or whatever. I already introduced you to these, um, well, they, are, they come in different names, ceramic uh, protector plate or you find them at eBay or Alibaba. Uh, probably as a solder plate, so just search for solder plate. We have tried to um, to import them, but until now we didn't find a good source which sells them in quantities below 1,000 pieces. Um, what I already demonstrated to you is uh, how heat resistant these things are. Take a small gas burner and uh, I can even put my hand behind it and it even the flame doesn't get through and even the heat doesn't get uh, through so you can even do uh, hard solder work not only soft soldering with electronic so solder work but also hard soldering but oh the, the top was still quite hot um, but there is a, another um, thing they are useful and that is when you do when you do test work or measuring with uh, high frequency circuits, then there's always one problem. Just let me get a PCB. If you put your PCB directly down onto your ESD mat or whatever you have lying on, the, on your lab table, then it might be that uh, the high frequency uh, stuff uh, or that your measurements just um, uh, are going bad uh, simply because there could be some metal below there, there could be some beams uh, below your table or uh, you have forgotten that uh, under your mat there is uh, something metallic lying around and this changes the uh, high frequency properties of your circuit and a ceramic is uh, concerning high frequency is a uh, very, well, let's say in, in this case, a very neutral material, which means just elevating your uh, test circuit only a few centimeters above anything that could um, change your high frequency uh, properties of your circuit. If you just elevate it and use a ceramic material, uh, then you can be nearly 100% sure that uh, you don't get any adverse uh, effects by anything lying around. Of course, you shouldn't have any large magnets or uh, tons of steel uh, near you. Uh, but usually in the normal lab, uh, these are two centimeters uh, on a ceramic uh, block of or, or a block of ceramic material are sufficient to kind of isolate your um, your PCB and your circuit from any adverse high frequency effects from your surrounding. So just another tip wha for what you uh, can use these um, ceramic protector plates or as uh, they are most often sold at eBay as simply solder plates. So that was it, a short tip from me and uh, hope you liked it and see you next time at the M Show what every maker should have one of. Bye from Roger, bye from Kanka Labs.